Back on Q's TV, Captain Paulo Seferi with us, and uh, you had a goal this past week, so we can give you credit for the last one goal win, Paulo. What, what is it like week after week after week with all these games? Nerve-wracking. <laughs> uh, honestly, it's, it's um, just a, a battle every game. Um, every game we can expect a competition, especially the last three weeks with big opponents, um, and honestly, it's possible that tomorrow is another one-goal game with Hobart because it's for the Kraus simmons Trophy. It's a big game every year. Take me into the last minute of the Notre Dame game. You guys had to D up basically for the final minute of the game, and they had two reasonably good chances at it. What, what was it like that last minute out there? Uh, you know, it's a little. We were a little more composed than uh, most people would think. Uh, we, like you said, it was our what six, six or seventh one goal game. So, uh, so we we've we've been there. Uh, plain and simple, uh, it hasn't always come down to the ball being the offensive end late in the fourth quarter, so we've had to make stops as well. So that experience really um, paid off in the Notre Dame game there. Evan made a save, I think, with his face when, once we saw the replay. On it. How much confidence does it give you guys on defense that he's back there late in games? If he can make that save and, and a pinnacle matchup like that, it gives us the utmost confidence because even maybe if we, if we uh, force a bad shot, that, that one was definitely was not a bad shot, but if we do force a bad shot, we have the confidence in Evan mi making the save uh, and us going the other way with it. What was the matchup like for you guys all day long on the defensive midfield where you and Joe and whoever was out there had your matchups, but you were always aware of where Perkovic was to, to, to slide in his direction? Yeah, he's definitely the guy you got to uh, dial in on there. Um, they certainly have some good other players, but he's, he's certainly who they want to have the ball in their stick. Uh, he's the one they want taking the shot and he's the one they want scoring the goals. So uh, just to be able to focus in on him was, was and uh, take away maybe some of those things that they really wanted to get going uh, helped us astronomically on defense. Where do you guys feel you're at team-wise in development this year? Because you can look at it and say, oh, it's a one-goal game every week. It must be the same. But at the same time, it feels like you guys have made significant improvements from February till now. Yeah, absolutely. We have a bunch of young guys getting involved, like Tyson Bomber, it's his first season playing a lot. Marcus Cunningham, it's his first season playing a lot. Kevin Hotchings, uh, who's the third DMD. Um, Andrew Helmer, uh, the list goes on. So uh, being able to just uh, work together over time, practice every day, getting those guys game experience, especially in, in really tight games throughout the season, um, just gets them more comfortable, and that and that comfortableness uh, leads to confidence. And um, once you have confidence, you can really uh, trust each other on defense, and that's probably the most important thing. All right, Paul, you mentioned already the Kraus Simmons Trophy. Does it help to have this game, since it's a short turnaround, to have it be such an important game here in the middle of this week? Yeah, I think so. If it was a uh, if it was a game that maybe um, the team wasn't as good or something, or it wasn't a historic rivalry or something, it'd probably be a little harder to uh, really focus uh, going into the game. But mm -hmm. since uh, this historic rivalry is coming up quick, uh, we've been able to uh, really hammer down what we want to do in this Hobart game early on in the week and uh, go into t tomorrow with the right mentality. Uh, you play with Ryan, Roy Three's obviously around all the time, Roy Jr. still around a lot. Just to have as many Simmonses around as there are, what, what does it mean when it comes to this rivalry? You feel kind of obligated to not only do it for yourself, but for them, uh, for the tradition of Syracuse lacrosse. Um, and that's that since, what is it, Roy, Roy the first came around um, and whenever, no, 100 years ago or whenever that was, um, you, you feel like there's a tradition aspect to this game, and there absolutely is, and uh, you, you want to win it uh, for Syracuse um, because another notch on the Syracuse peg would be uh, huge for them and for this, for this team. All right, Paul. Enjoy tomorrow night. Thank you very much.